Hello everyone. Welcome to our online celebration for the second International Day of Conscience. We are so excited to share this celebration with you all. Your participation is what makes this day special. We have accomplished so much in the past year, bringing together friends from around the world to share stories inspired by their conscience. We would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all our friends who have joined us over the past year to spread kindness and love through our ICA virtual events. That's right, we have achieved so much together. Let's take a look at our achievements over the past year. The day of 5th April, from now on, the United Nations declared April 5th as the International Day of Conscience in July 2019. Since then, Full Pals has engaged in various events to promote this day and inspire conscience-driven actions. Since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, Full Pal has started to hold virtual events to emphasize the importance of conscience and work together with people around the world for a peaceful and conscience-guided world. Ever since the first International Day of Conscience, over 22 virtual events have been conducted in celebration of various United Nations Days with an emphasis on conscience. These events have been live-streamed on IC Day's YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. To date, IC Day has attracted over 3.3 million views worldwide on its social media platforms. We are very glad to have many influential leaders joining our IC Day events over the past year, injecting powerful positive energy into our planet to stabilize the world. We look forward to a more successful year ahead Let's continue to spread the message of conscience to every citizen and every corner of the world. With conscience comes a peaceful world. With happiness comes joyful families. Dr. Hong has specially prepared a speech for this big celebration. Let's welcome Dr. Hong Dao Zi, President of the Federation of World Peace and Love. Distinguished guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I would like to thank many international friends and organizations, countries, and the United Nations for their endeavors as our collective efforts have made the International Day of Conscience possible. It is a day of conscience for all humanity. This day belongs to every world citizen and has a profound meaning. The world is volatile, but we can secure our hearts with wineness, which is conscience. Things change as the circumstances change, but we should adhere to conscience and noble deeds regardless of changes in circumstances. Only our conscience can save our souls, and only conscience can save our world. I invite you all to start practicing love and conscience in everything you do and inspire those around you to realize their era of conscience, to jointly create a world of happiness for all humanity. Let us move forward happily together for a world of peace. Let us work together to give humanity an opportunity to move towards peace and sustainability and share a happy, fulfilling, and true era of conscience. Today, we celebrate the International Day of Conscience. As a partner and supporter of Full Power's great efforts in this global mission, the Republic of Kiribati is happy to join this celebration together with other partner countries, in particular the Kingdom of Bahrain, which had provided good leadership in the intergovernmental negotiations in New York two years ago that led to the United Nations Declaration of April 5th as the International Day of Conscience. Oh, this world that God made is a place for love and care. So do not hate, but be kind. Everybody needs your love and care. 
Everybody needs your loving care, yeah, yeah. Today is a very important day as we celebrate the International Day of Conscience. And uh, we know how much Faupal has been active in making us think differently, in making us do things with our conscience. We have to really think of the way we do business because the way we are overshooting our consumption, it's as if we have four planets and yet we only have one planet. And I think today is the day that we have to celebrate our conscience and how we use the International Day for Conscience to spread positive influence of the way our conscience operate and how we should listen to our conscience. It is important to speak loud on the importance of conscience as one of the essential inner feelings and humankind values that allows us to do good and act right by our own will. Nowadays, more than ever in recent history, facing the COVID-19 pandemic, the international community needs to be reminded about conscience, especially when it comes to saving human lives by fair distribution of the vaccines against the virus. That is why I fully support Four Power's dedication to providing platforms for promoting fundamental human values and striving towards accomplishing the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. And I want to share with you some experience. When I was a young mom, I had my second kid, and he was a Down syndrome kid. At the beginning, it was scary. I don't know what to do. But finally, I get conscious about the diverse uh, kind of people that we are in, in the world. And of course, a Down syndrome kid gives a lot of happiness. They are smiling and happy people. And I learned from that experience what uh, people in, in diverse situation can feel. Then for me, Conscious Day is about diversity. That a leader in every country should be the epitome of moral conscience for the society at large. You lead by example. The point I'm trying to make is, is that sometimes in, in leadership, sometimes in the context of power, we sometimes forget that one aspect of power is service. And that service must always trump power in the context of leadership. And I think if, in fact, we, we maintain that, that, that mantra in our daily lives, in our institutional lives, the world will be a better place. Through conscience-driven advocacy, many homes over the years have been transformed into repositories of progressive thinking and facilitators of female empowerment and equality. Ha risultato l'ipsi di educazione, ha risultato culture, ha risultato conscienze scazzute, noi abbiamo problemi di fatti male in ziua di astas. Per adepasciare tutte queste lucre, dobbiamo se rivediamo la queste nozioni di educazione, di conscienze, prima scuola, prima educazione, prima finanziare, noi dobbiamo se riduciamo Banii care îți duc în, 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 la, în armare, dăm de banii aceștia, educație și medicină. Și atunci societatea va fi alta. Sper că această zi ne-a dat un imbolt. Nu numai să gândim, dar să acționăm în direcția aceasta și în restul tuturor, și oamenilor, și guvernanților, și cei care hotărăsc soartele oamenilor, ca să gândească, să mediteze la tema aceasta și să acționeze. I um, only mention this aspect because uh, I deeply believe that uh, when we speak of conscience, we must also consider how to best organize our own lives in the spirit of the moral values to which we aspire. This will uh, not be easy. But I can confirm, especially to today's youth, 
how well one can feel in one's old age if one can manage to preserve a clean conscience. An education predicated on moral values can create a new arbitration between power and knowledge that might well configure a framework wherein each individual cannot only be, but can also become. If there ever was a need for to rely on people's consciousness, then it is today and now. The world is in a turmoil. Local wars are led, but threats are global. Only by awakening the consciousness of all people, real peace and cooperation among people, states, and nations, International Day of Consciousness has to be a motive and drive for permanent peace and cooperation. Each and every one of us, habitant of our beloved planet Earth, take full responsibility of our action and instead living in a culture of peace, love and consciousness, we will all better off from our small communities expanding this awareness to our big cities and throughout the entire world. Thank you. We have a moral and ethical obligation, first to ourselves, and then to convey that sense of responsibility to all, who care for the other, to take care of every single person, so that every child is fed and never stops smiling. Nonetheless, conscious awakening requires commitment strong enough to create the right prerequisites needed to cultivate a universal culture of peace and equality, where people feel connected rather than divided by borders and man-made differences. The decision to institute the National Day of Conscience is an important landmark for the achievement of a culture of peace, since the power of conscience is a necessary tool for the realization of this endeavor. Empathy compassion, conscience. These are all the things we need a little more of, not only now, but in weeks and years to come. Definitely, with togetherness, we can do it. And we need to also follow the principle of consciousness. So today, as we celebrate International Day of Conscience, let us recommit ourselves to reaching out to others and fostering a common humanity that will unleash a spring of giving and goodness. Let that be our mission moving forward. Congratulations for the presentation of this important event dedicated to the second International Day of Conscience and your leadership in managing the fruitful exchanges. Happy International Day of Conscience to all. May the flag of conscience wave always and everywhere. The concept of conscience is commonly used in its moral sense. It is the inherent ability of every healthy human being to perceive what is right and what is wrong, and on the strength of this perception to monitor, evaluate, and execute actions. Today we celebrate for the second time the Universal Day of Conscience. I think this is a great idea and a great initiative for Dr. Hong because if everybody follows his own conscience, the world will become better and more peaceful every day. Vicdan, okulda, ibadethanede, ve hayatta yer almadıkça barışa da istikrara da ulaşamayız. Onun için ben Doktor Hong Tao da Tize ve arkadaşlarını böyle bir konuda öncülük ettikleri için önemsiyorum. Tebrik ediyorum. Ümit ediyorum ki bu çalışmalarımız insanlığın Barış, istikrar, evinde yeni bir pencere açacaktır. Dünya Vicdan Günü kutlu olsun. So you have to let that voice speak from within, because it is your closest and most trusted friend and confidant, and your conscience 
most importantly, won't ever lie to you. Goodness triggers goodness and grows multifold. If I'm good to you and I respect you and your rights as a human being, chances are very strong that you will also be good to me and respect me and my human rights. So conscience has the capability to create a monumental difference in human behavior and relations. This day promotes relationships based on respect for human rights. We need to ensure that we are not ignorant or misunderstand what human rights are. Let's continue to learn, educate and inspire respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms for all. Together, let's make every day a day of conscience. Because it's within my conscience, my integrity, my desire to help mankind. I know that helping our children and our families be free of drugs is very important. And on this International Day of Conscience, to bring mankind to a higher level. And one day we will all look back and see what we have accomplished.